Hey everybody, it's Davey and Atoga here with more Persona 3, Wait, trying to figure what? out what the hell is going on in here. You no know, bad stuff. Whoa, that's what's going on. Oh. Mitsuru. So we got our. Okay, so now we have our two uh -huh. ordeals uh -huh. at the same time. Shit. That is not gonna what's be good going news. On? Nothing's working. At least it's only gonna be a fight. It's actually gonna be our only fight of the night, which is even better, actually. Because oh, now we don't have to worry about getting tired and dying ourselves and. Oh, Isn't what the fuck is she doing here? Why the hell is she here? Well, this is not gonna be good. Oh my god, Natsuki's gonna die! Everybody's gonna die! All oh, for Fuka's sake. More Yama -san. Wait, what are you no, her doing? name's Natsuki. Not Please, na more Yama san So many syllables in that name. I, anyway. <laughs> I wanted to tell you I'm sorry. And she turned around. Thank goodness. Now she's gonna get fucked up, so... Well, she's gonna go out in a blaze of glory. Right? I know. So we get a lot of ha- A lot, a lot of ha- We had a little bit of fights. Okay, so I lied earlier, because we did have a little bit of fights that we had to do by ourselves. It's not very hard at all. Now we get straight into this boss battle really quickly and easily. Jackson doesn't end up being that bad of a boss battle, thank goodness. Kind of is. And that is actually a really cool persona, holy shit. Like a crystal ball. Look at them birthing hips on that thing. Ha <laughs> ha. thing is huge, holy it's cow, zero. look how tall it is. It's gotta be like 12 I'm feet. Right. It's impressive. Be careful. Normal attacks won't work on these shadows. And all of our instruments have been destroyed. That's actually a hint for this upcoming boss battle, as you'll see. Which is kind of funny how they actually just stay still. Besides, they actually incorporated it into the story instead of it just being a throwaway comment. Is that the voice? The voice. I, I can sense these monsters' weaknesses somehow. Yes. So not only is she like Mitsuru, but she's a hell of a lot better than Mitsuru. Awesome. Just as I thought. Even better, she doesn't Mitsuru, need a motorcycle or anything, and her equipment that's all smoldering up there in the corner. Yamagishi, can you assist the others? Well, that figures. I'll do my best. I like how she's right there because she's on her head. She has to come up as she's on the radio, back, as if Mitsuru. she's on the radio, which is kind of funny. We'll take care of this. Even though she doesn't actually come through with the radio headset, she just like telepathically. Yeah, groovy music. I'll try and find out the enemy's weakness. Just let me know when. How about right the hell now? Okay, so we have an emperor and an empress. I notice the emperor has a sword, and the empress has a wand. Okay, Usually in those ca these kind time. of things, as always, the empress is gonna be the one that's gonna have all the magic use and stuff. It's probably gonna be a little weaker, easier to kill. And harder to defend against, so we might as well attack the Empress. And as I figured, and I used magic, and it did actually nothing. Which surprise, surprise. But piercing attacks will work on it. She was weak to physical attack, and that's exactly why, because she's just like beat up on her, and you're golden. That's fantastic. And notice it was like weak, weak, weak. No, 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 no. No. Yeah, six. So she's completely impervious to magic. Flicks magic damage. But it's weak against attack, so... Chances are the Emperor is going to be the exact opposite. We'll find out. Okay, just give me some time. But first we want to take out the Empress. Now that's what I initially thought, and actually... Actually, at this point, what would have been better was to at least assume that, hey, that guy's going to be weak against magic. And just attack him as well, so that way I can start getting some rushdowns all that attack. But, excuse me, I didn't have that kind of foresight, so I just tunnel visioned on the Empress to make sure she's not going to attack. See? I knew it! Fire, lightning, ice, wind! Well, actually, it was fire, ice, wind, and lightning, wind. Not fire, wind, lightning. Shut up, you know what I mean. The order I said them is was wrong, so. Okay, just give me some time. Yeah, that paradigm shift, and now she's a question mark again. So something changed. I don't know what. 
it's not like I can change weapons. No, I'm looking for a heal. Yeah, the big heals. Which, hey, it auto-sorts auto, it auto -sorts everything, which is kind of nice. I did not realize that. I know I picked up those medicine gems long after I picked up a bunch of those attacking gems. That's your chance. Pretty nice. So, of course, luck would have it. It seems like fire will work on it. That she changed her elemental weakness to fire and came out after our fire guy took his turn. Figures. God damn it. Well, that's okay because hey, I have my little amount. So when I get a chance to attack, I'm gonna wipe her out. Oh yeah. So they both have the paradigm shift. Okay. That's something that's reasonable okay, to do. So I'm gonna. This is good. I'm 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 giving Fuka some practice too. Lots of use with Fuka. Which is all right. Changes the paradigm shift. The Empress. I mean, changes her paradigm shift to one, any one, not just any physical one. I think. I don't know. Could you change it to fire? That's the only time I see her change it. And what's his face? The uh, Emperor is going to change it to Strike. But then he doesn't change it again. As it turns out. So I actually don't know if they only if they just randomly pick one of the not the seven elemental weaknesses. Or if they pick one of their element. Their styling. You, like the Empress ended up picking one of a magic. And the Emperor ended up picking one of a physical. Okay. Which, go figure that. So I should have. It's gonna be hard, because he's strike. And as I'm gonna find out once I get my turn, that I cannot swap my weapons. Even though I have a bow and arrow. Just pierce damage. So I can't do anything. So I thought. I mean, I could heal Junpei a little bit. But then I realized. Well, actually, my brother told me, because he was watching me play this, and he kind of cheated a little bit and told me a little bit about this battle beforehand. I mean, you can kind of tell that it's kind of tropic, you know, how, how much of a trope it is, that it's going to be one magic user, and of course it's going to be the Empress, and then one physical user, of course it's going to be the Emperor. And they actually breadcrumbed this whole thing right beforehand, which I did not realize at the time I was playing. In fact, not until I was actually watching back, but hey, this guy, the, the uh, Chimera, has Sonic Punch. Guess what Sonic Punch is? Light Strike Damage! Yes! So, we got this in the bag. For now. Maybe we'll kill him, maybe we'll not. We actually will not. Gonna come close. A lot closer than I would like. Well. Oh, smart boy. Not doing anything. Ah, oh, crap. Oh cool, so now I get to wait two turns, instead of just taking them out right now. God damn it. That just figures, right? Talk about luck of the draw. Oh well. Let's pull that pixie out, get some Zia going. And hey, if we kill this guy, it'll get some experience, because, you know, it's so far behind. Not like I'm really actually constantly trying to even grind my persona, because it takes so long to level them up. I realize. So I, I, I think I think it's just it's it's pointless to have you know like try and have as many different personas as I can. Like especially the low level ones. I might as well just keep whatever high hail level ones I end up fusing and whatnot, and just pick up more as I need to fuse them. Because it's having they they level up at the same pace as you, but because you only use one at a time, and you have you know at this point up to like six or eight of them at, at once. It kind of comes hard to level them all up evenly, so might as well just use fusing to do that. And holy cow, we got an ass load of points. So you know what that means. Our ass load of, eight, of uh, experience points is going to go to our pixie, and she's going to get a lot of ass load of experience points. She actually goes up two whole levels. Pretty damn close to a third. Which is really nice. Don't worry. It's over. Yay! It's over. Fuka, you... Uh, are you all right? Yeah. Thank goodness. And Flop. Fuka? It's all right. She's just exhausted. Figures. It's just what I had happened to me too when I first Fuka? used my persona. I just, ah, I'm tired. I... 
I'm sure that's what happened with uh, Where did these Junpei. Two shadows come from? If I remember correctly, when he from first joined up, it was like, Hey, I'm a Persona against like two! But then I actually had to go to battle with him. I don't know. I don't remember. I guess um, I'll have to look back. What are we gonna do about Natsuki? Six. She saw the dark hour and the shadows. Don't worry, she's not like us, so she won't remember any of it. Well, it's kind of good. The good news is she didn't fall so victim far. to the shadows, even though she obviously heard their call. She should be safe from now on. I mean, at least she's not gonna be like, oh, ah, getting up on our grill but about that everything that happened. But Fuka saved her life, right? But then there's that. It doesn't seem fair. Which does kind of suck. Actually, I don't think it'll matter. It would have been cool narrative-wise to see what would have done if Fuka didn't sorry, wasn't influenced Fuka. by all this at I'm all. So sorry. But she is, as we'll see in the I next episode, because we had enough excitement for this one. A lot of excitement. I'm wow. Ugh, just glad that's over. And I finally have Fuka on my team. Yes. Which means I can finally go out and explore with Mitsuru. Yes. Such goodness. Now we can actually strategize our shit and make sure everybody gets leveled up evenly and, you know, be able to do stuff in Tartarus. Which we're probably gonna have to go through like four or five times to level up everybody. Oh well. Alright. We're done. Tartarus tonight. Time to relax. Relax we shall.